a little bit easier when we go into part throttle. What we're going to be seeing as we open up our data log here and I try to trace through, depending on where I'm tracing through my actual data log at, it's going to be having my cursor just riding through the, the table here. And what we're going to be finding is it's going to be leaving these, uh, these points here. We can see that it's showing negative 6, 7, 8%, negative 7, negative 11%, and so on and so on. We can see that populated all around the table here. That's coming right from my data log. So whether we're going to be operating the engine in real-time operation or we're going to be data logging and playing it back, where we're going to be able to use this overlay option I like to go ahead and data log everything and then play back as you can see here as I scroll through my entire data log. If we go all the way to the end here, this was a 9 minute and 30 second data log that was taken. We're going to be seeing that it's going to be plotting all of this information for me to show me where I was at in each table. As we can see, we're again scrolling through here. Where I was at in each table and how much I need to update the actual table in my port throttle driving. Now one thing to note here that you're going to notice if I'm showing you in this data log here. Right now we're 840, uh, 850 RPM. We're going to be seeing that our air fuel here is 14.7 and our short term trim is reporting 8% trim value or long term right here is showing nothing. Um, what we're going to be noticing is that if we jump into the table, and this is going to be the operation point right here, it's not going to be plotting anything. And it's not going to be plotting anything because, if we jump into options, go back into settings here, that the throttle percentage here has to be at least 4%. And if we look, our, our T pedal or the actual TPS input to the ECU is showing zero. And that's going to be blocking it out from reading and um, populating overlay data here at idle. Now, normally, I do not worry about doing an overlay at idle. It's not so much of a concern because I could just simply watch my fuel trims here and adjust this little area of idle operation.